guys, Steph here. Yes, today we've got yet another before and after video. And what we're going to show you today is a pen from one of my recent pen hauls. And here it is. There you go. As you can see, as always, rather tired. Yes, as you can see, they're very tired. You can see with these particular pens, the top of the cap and the plunger at the bottom tend to discolour. It's also, as you can see, when you find them in the in the wild, they're actually seized up or the the seal inside has deteriorated and they tend to need a full service. So, after that, here we go. Here's the pen after a full service hey look at that lovely pen okay what we've got for you here nice and simple a very popular pen this is the onotto the pen from delarue and company limited in london absolutely gorgeous comes in this black and it's got a little bit of chasing now the pen is from sort of late 1930s early 1940s so yeah you can you can understand if the chasing is a little bit worn if it's a used pen but a lovely lovely pen the size of it capped is 135 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter now let's show you the barrel imprint there lovely and clear it says Anotto the pen Delarue and Company Limited London okay so a lovely clear barrel imprint as you can see and then to the very bottom somewhere on the on the plunger knob if I could just find it for you I'm not sure if you can actually see it or if I've got the right place but what I'll do I'll, ju I'll just turn it slightly so you can see but it's got the model number 5601 okay and there's another number I can't remember what that number is <laughs> but yeah it's a 5601 as we said, comes in this lovely black colour with chasing on it. This particular pen, I've actually shown you. Uh, I've shown you a similar one before. And what I'll do, I'll leave you a link to the top later on. So you can go and have a look at that. Because they came in numerous different sort of patterns and colours. Um, the, the one I think I've, I've, I've already done is a 5601 in green marble. They brought out um, two or three other marbled coloured ones and they brought out as I said the 5601 in this black black chase pattern but an absolutely lovely pen now if we take you to the cap you can see it's got quite a thin cap band there okay in gold plate and then we've got the very recognizable what we term as the early ball clip and then if you look to the top there you can see some initials uh, TD is it TDL and basically that stands for Thomas Delarue so it's got the Thomas Delarue um, logo to the top of the clip um, and as you saw before the sort of finial or the top cap there was very discoloured what we've managed to do is polish it took quite a bit of work to be quite honest with you but there you go it's a lot better now and a lot well not as discolored it's a lot more black <laughs> and that applies as well to the to the plunger there you can see you know we've polished that as well and we've got it a lot darker to match this gorgeous gorgeous pen let's take the cap off for you give you a couple of the sort of customary twirls on the pen let's take up to the section on these pens they've got a lovely elongated section as you can see there 
going up to this little ridge towards the nib and if we show you the nib there you've got a Delarue Onotto 14 carat London 3ST nib which is the correct nib for this pen there's a sideways view there's the feed and as always even with this pen it's been fully disassembled everything internally has been cleaned we've put brand new rubber cork, uh, not cork, uh, cup washer to the piston we've installed brand new cork seals to the end and hopefully we'll well we'll test it in a moment fingers crossed everything is in full working order now for you people the first time well watching watching my videos have never seen this pen before how it works is that we we unscrew the plunger knob to the end there and we pull it out as far as it goes we then dip the nib and a little bit of the section into the ink and we press down in one swift movement like so and I'm hoping you can actually hear that sort of popping sound to the end there which is precisely what we want to hear so without further ado let's uh, let's see if the pen works and as always this is the first time I'm testing the pen so you're going to see exactly what I see so let's dip it in the ink <laughs> right I'm sure you could hear that that sort of bubbling bubbling noise followed by a popping noise so what we will do now we will actually turn the plunger knob all the way back and at this point just to let you know these pens have a ink shut off valve inside which means if you screw the plunger all the way all the way home sort of finger tight what happens it shuts off the ink inside here so to write with the pen what we need to do is give the plunger a turn backwards so it opens up the ink valve here now these pens are very much I sort of refer them if you like to the old for you people that remember the old cars with a sort of manual um, not clutch what's the, the word I'm looking for um, you pull it for the um, oh dear just when I've <laughs> it's gone straight out of my my mind so what I'll do I'll try and think on what it is but it's the the bit that you actually pull out for the petrol the uh, ah, I can't think what it's called uh, right what we'll do let's do a writing sample and I'll try and think of the the word for it so let's see how it writes so what we've got is um, a notto a notto the pen dating it as we said 1930s 1940s um, does it have any flex uh, no it doesn't it's I would say writing with a fine line but what I'm going to do now I'll actually turn this shut off valve like so and hopefully we should find that the ink will actually stop it'll cut off the ink at some period and as I'm doing this I'm trying to find the word of that, that particular thing on a car oh dear isn't it great when you can't remember what it's actually called um, give it the old cars people used to say right give it some oh, you know I just can't I can't remember what, what it's actually called give it some it's not the clutch choke give it some choke that's the word I was looking for 
the choke. So these pens are very much like the old cars that you people remember, or the, the people that remember like it had a choke, that when you start your car, you have to give it a little bit of a choke. Um, if you don't give it enough, it doesn't start. If you gave it too much choke, it would sometimes flood the engine and you'd have problems. So these pens are very similar, rather a little bit temperamental, so you've actually got to adjust it to well to a position that you prefer that you don't want it to dry you don't want it stopping and you want it writing nicely and obviously some people don't want it with a really wet wet line so there's a writing sample it didn't actually shut off as we wanted it but um, that's basically what the shut off valve is for um, once you close it eventually it stops the ink flow so let's empty the pen so what I'm going to do is put the the section and the nib over the ink pull it out and then press down okay so let's that's emptied there and because I know you people like to see what's happening let's do it with the water as we always do so we're pulling out the plunger like so and then press down there you go, you could see all the bubbling going on. So if I pull out the plunger again, if you're pulling out the plunger, keep the nib over the ink, because sometimes you do get a little bit of a spurt when you pull out the plunger. So again, there we go, we've pulled out the plunger. And there's the ink going back into the, into the water. Let's give it another go. There you go, lots of bubbling, that little pop at the end, pull out the plunger once again, press it down, and let's just do it one more time, so push down on the plunger, there we go, lots of bubbling, pull it up, press down, and we'll finish that off after the video. We'll, pluck, we'll uh, swill it out with lots of clean water and it'll be ready, ready to go. Let's give it a little bit of a dab there. Pop the cap back on and there we have it. We're going to leave it at that. So there's a before and after. We had a pen, the plunger wasn't working, everything had seized up inside. We had discolouring, um, so everything's been cleaned, everything's been polished everything's been sort of serviced internally and as you can see it writes with a lovely fine line so there we have it i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget don't be shy leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe as well to my channel and just below there that thought of thumbs up symbol press that give the video a thumbs up if you will but for now i'm just simply going to say slavo krieni and from me in this gorgeous pen I'm just going to say bye bye for now <laughs>